Married at First Sight Season 1 couple Jamie Otis and Doug Henner are some of the longest surviving couples from the franchise, but a healthy relationship does not mean that the two have never gone through any rough patches in their marriage. Back in August 10, Jamie shared a photo of the two embracing each other with tears in their eyes, saying, We're not giving up on each other. Not now, not ever. 2BH, sitting in the car at a random parking lot, crying like the heart, hardly crying with snotty noses and hiccups, was not at all what I intended on sharing today. But here we are, she added. Jamie furthered her statement, claiming we just finished a heated call with our therapist. It started with anger, yelling, blaming, but ended with us holding each other and trying to figure out our next steps together. Gosh, a good therapist is everything. Jamie and Doug have been seeing a therapist to work on their marriage, and judging from her recent posts, it is safe to assume that the two are getting along wonderfully. Recently, Lila Grace has celebrated her fourth birthday, which was on National Rainbow Day. Jamie shared a bittersweet post on Instagram commemorating her daughter's fourth birthday, writing, Words cannot express how much I love my Gracie girl, who is somehow four today. It sounds cliche, but it really feels like a blink that she became this beautiful, kind-hearted, jealous-spirited little lady. Moreover, this MAFS bride had a heartwarming message for her late Jonathan, who died due to miscarriage. I'll always wish there had been something I could have done to protect Jonathan and keep him safe so he could be here with us, she shared. Yesterday was National Rainbow Baby Day, and I don't think it's a coincidence our Gracie girl was born the same day that honors angel babies in heaven, while simultaneously celebrating rainbow babies on Earth. Jamie and Doug are expecting another baby soon, and the last few months have been pretty hectic for the couple. Hopefully everything turns out well in the end. We would like to wish a couple all the best for the future, and may Jonathan's soul rest in peace.